Hi, this is Alec Gillis from Amalgamated Dynamics Incorporated. Welcome to Studio ADI's channel and Human and Alien Effects from X-Files Fight the Future. So in 1997-ish, we were hired to do a bunch of the effects for Chris Carter's X-Files Fight the Future, the feature version of the X-Files. We did a whole bunch of gashes and wounds, as you can see here, generic appliances uh, for people with, uh, you know, who get attacked by aliens. Um, and these, I think, were sculpted by uh, Jeff Boccaccio and Steve Koch. Lots of materials tests, of course, to come up with a transparent skin. Um, and here's the results. There's a, a skeletal structure embedded into our sculpture. Um, is that the caveman? I think it's a caveman. Anyway, and we incorporated veins and, uh, you know, artery systems so that when backlit, uh, they look interesting. This is our, um, uh, an infected body. Uh, the script called for the ability to palpate the chest, which means that you got to press your finger around in certain areas. That was a pocket filled with KY jelly uh, so that you could squish it and it would look real uh, 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 icky and, and uh, goopy and all that stuff. There's a drawing of Mark Vignello as a creepy uh, alien dude. He was uh, our foam runner on the show in lab tech. Um, we used him as a, as a model. Um, and I sure wish I remember who drew these because they're really nice drawings. I think Andy Schoenberg was involved, and anybody else who I'm forgetting, please forgive me. So they were cavemen who had gestating aliens inside them. There's Jeff Boccaccio. He's sculpting, uh, I believe we called him the fireman. I think that was the guy. So we kind of built this uh, puffed up chest to increase the size of the, of the body, swollen, so that we could fit an alien inside there. I remember Chris Carter came by and actually helped us slap clay on this, as I recall. It was kind of fun. Um, and uh, so uh, the, this is a more withered stage where the alien gestating inside is drawing off the life and the uh, protein and the energy of its host body. Um, kind of fun ideas. Not the first time that an alien has gestated inside a person, but kind of a different take on it. There's Andy Schoenberg sculpting the face of one of the cavemen. Um, Andy's a very talented artist and sculptor who worked for us for years, and uh, he's doing the caveman body. He also, I believe, sculpted the makeup appliances for uh, these guys. This was the younger of the two cavemen. And there's the poor withered caveman, which I think is also Andy's work. Could be Steve Koch, could be Jeff Picaccio, could be somebody else who I'm unintentionally insulting right now by forgetting him. This is kind of creepy looking, isn't it? Uh, very clear, transparent. We've got a skull inside there so that you can see the hints of the, uh, the skeletal structure uh, inside there. He's got awful nice teeth. I think, I'm sure we teched and uh, grimied them up before we shot. But there's more shots of the uh, transparent uh, guys. K&B also worked on this, our friends at K&B, and they did some body work, and I think they did some clear stuff too. This is a test where we just shoved one of the um, suit aliens' heads and hands into the body. I think Tom Woodruff is behind puppeteering the, uh, the head of it, and I believe that's Christine Popalexis, who's wearing a pair of alien gloves. But this was kind of the idea that we would use, although I think we used a... Um, a, a different sculpture of the alien inside that was just for test purposes just to see how how good it looked with the through the murky uh, silicone and the thing with silicones is they tend uh, at least at that time back in 97 they tended to be a little less flexible when they got this clear so that's why uh, in this mechanical head for instance you have um, enough movement to look like a, a weird creepy uh, dead guy or dying guy rather he looks a little like Kevin Bacon on a bad day. Um, but uh, see, there's the, there's the alien inside, and that's its, a, a sculpture that was made uh, specifically for this. It wasn't a full-grown alien like we tested with, but it's the same principle, people puppeteering from underneath. And I love the eyes on this. Dave Penicus articulated this one. Um, and the eyes are, once you get the puppeteering right, uh, the eyes are, are very effective. But um, the silicone here was... Uh, too stiff really to get facial expression out of like brows and cheeks and stuff so we had jaw, jaw open clothes and uh, nice eye blinks and eye rolls. There's Steve Frakes uh, down there, our mold shop supervisor and Tom Woodruff Jr. The other half of ADI 
uh, puppeteering and supervising. And there we are in low def uh, watching puppeteers under the table. Anyway, thank you so much for joining us at Studio ADI. Please watch more of our fascinating videos and subscribe.